just want to talk a little bit about continuation of my first video, talking about learning to learn how to play the guitar. Now, a few of the things that we've talked about in the first video, I want to continue on and talk about the most popular reasons why you want to practice guitar, why you want to even learn guitar. We have the who, what, where, when, why, where, and how. And the most important of those is why. But I'm going to come back to that in a moment. Um, who? So who's going to practice? Obviously, you're going to practice, or maybe you're trying to encourage someone else to practice. And um, moving forward with that piece, you really want to know um, how you can help the person, what you can do with them uh, to practice. If you have someone to practice as part of your who, is there someone else that you can jam with? Are you learning with someone else? Sometimes that can be a good motivator with you as, as well. We move on to the what. So what is the content? And we talked about this. What is it that you really want to learn? Because if you try and say, I just want to learn guitar, it's going to be very difficult to, to just, where do I start? Where do I start with that? And I think the bi biggest part when you're learning how to play an instrument is knowing what do I need to know first? And you may not know exactly what you need to know first. So you do some research and take a look around. I really encourage you to learn guitar right from the get-go. If you're a beginner, start reading music from the beginning. Because going back and starting to learn with tabs, and I've learned many songs with music and songs with tabs. And I find that when I'm learning with music, you have a better sense of the whole piece and, and you just can memorize it better. With tabs, you're looking at your guitar and you're learning the notes on the guitar, just where to play them, but you have no idea what the rhythm is or the notes that are spacing. So I would love you to sit down with, uh, maybe with a piece of paper and just write down what is it you want to learn. Do you want to learn chords first? Do you want to learn how to read music? Do you want to be able to play the notes in the first uh, position? Do you want to learn um, how to play in different positions? Do you want to be able to uh, learn some new rhythms when you're strumming? Do you want to learn how to play uh, some melody chords and some notes together? Do you want to learn finger style? Do you want to learn picking style? So there's a lot of things there. Um, again, think about where you are most interested to start in the instrument. And if you're an advanced player, you probably have gotten into playing the same old routines where you pick up the instrument, you start playing your go-to chords, your go-to go uh, power, whatever the, the licks are that you play. You usually pick it up and you start playing with those. So really map out what is it you want to learn and how long do you want to take to do that? So over the next couple weeks. I want to talk about when to practice. When to practice. This is a huge, huge plus or minus in your life. I find that people that have things scheduled in their calendar, put it in their calendar because it's important to them. If it's not in your calendar, then it's not important to you. So if practicing an instrument and learning an instrument is important, then I would suggest that you find a time of day that works for you. My advice to you is not to pick the end of the day when you come home from work or school or doing whatever you're doing. When you're tired, if you pick up your instrument, it's a little bit more challenging um, to do that because sometimes you're already tired and you won't put the effort into it. And maybe it's like exercising or something like that. You, you just don't put your heart into it. There are, and I have to admit, sometimes I come home from work and I'm really tired and I say, I haven't played my guitar today. And I pick up my instrument and it actually revitalizes me. Uh, maybe I can't play as long as usual, but just picking up the instrument and playing it makes you feel better. And it does to me. So I feel really, really better um, doing that. Um, so once you find a schedule, if you stick to it every day, you'll probably have more success at, um, at doing that. The other piece I would say is do not put, bring your cell phone or have it near you when you're practicing. And I find this difficult too. Sometimes I even have it plugged into my music stand right beside me in case I miss a phone call or, or something like that. But to be honest with you, the times that I turn it off or turn the ringer off and I just say, you know what? I can practice for an hour or two, half an hour, 20 minutes, and that phone will be okay. <laughs> I don't need to check it. So that can really be a hamper, um, especially if you're trying to text people back and forth and it just interrupts on your, on your, your time for that. Where practice? Set up a great spot 
to practice. Um, depending on where you live and what you have, it, you know, if you can have this, the space set up beforehand, that makes it really convenient. Um, and I'll show you a picture of, of where I practice. So I try to have my guitars out because I find if my guitar is out, I can just pick it up. And I actually have a guitar by my TV. So if the TV's on and there's something I have to practice, I may just pick it up. Um, and I'm watching TV and I'll play the lick over and over and over again and after a show, it's half an hour, an hour, you'll have the lick down and you have that muscle memory in your hands. Um, so that is, you know, really helpful. I find if the guitar is out of the case and convenient, um, it's very easy to practice that way. A lot of times though, my, good, my better guitars, I like to keep them in the case uh, just for, keep the humidity constant and um, just in case, you know, they ever get knocked down. So I do have some I leave out and some I, some I put in. So whatever you have, Please just deal with uh, the situation you have and, and use it the best way that you do. But if it's easy, if the area is set up, you just have to flip a switch. Guitars are great. Um, I know when you have an acoustic, sometimes like this, if it runs on a battery and you have it plugged in, and you can't leave it plugged in because it'll run the battery down. So that's a bit of an inconvenience. But if you could just hit mute on your, on your uh, PA system or on your amplifier, that really works out really well. Um, just moving on to how. So this is the... The, the incremental learning I talked to before, how are you going to move forward with this? And I think it ties in with the what. Um, how are you going to do it? Are you going to be um, working on some uh, picking exercises with fingering? And again, um, are you going to go step by step? Are you going to use a book? Are you going to use a video? Uh, are you going to just use some of the videos I've put up? Um, any, any of those things would work well, but it, it kind of ties in with what you're going to learn and then you'll know step by step how you're going to do it. I suggest that you go at your own pace, as I said before. Even if you're learning one chord and you're having difficulty uh, playing it, um, getting your fingers moving from here to here, it may be uh, something that you um, really find tricky. So how are you going to do that? Well, learn the best way for you, moving your fingers, do you want to move them together, do you want to move them back and forth, and I'll, I'll show you a little bit about those chord progressions in another one. Last piece I want to get to is the why, and when I do uh, school improvement visits, when I visit schools, uh, this is the challenge that I always offer the staff at the school and the leaders of the school, and I'll say to them, the easiest way to, to learn and set goals is to talk about the what. So you move to the what and how you're going to do that, and then people kind of get to the why and they'll say, oh, you know what, I think I, I want to do this because of this reason. But really the most important piece is the why. Why are you learning to play the guitar? Come back to that piece. Because it's the most powerful piece of your learning that you'll know. If you can answer the question why, it's because something I really want to learn, I've wanted to learn it all my life, or I've been playing guitar and I really want to get to the next level. If I do this and this and this, I will be able to get to the next level. So in your mind, if you can understand why you're doing it, it will be a huge um, asset to you learning and motivating yourself because you keep coming back to that reason, I'm doing this because I want to be a better guitar player or I want to do this just because I want to be able to play at home and entertain um, maybe my family or it's just something I want to learn, personal goal. If you have your bucket list, it may be something that you want to move forward with that piece. So think hard and uh, about the why, and as you go through all of those who, what, when, where, why, when, how, think about those, process them, and a lot of times we don't write things down, and I, I encourage you to write it down, or if you have your, your phone, push record, and then talk to yourself and just say to yourself, you know what, I really want to learn this because um, I've seen somebody playing and, and it's something I really want to do and move forward. So my next videos are going to be coming up and they're going to actually start to take us through and I've got, um, if you have any questions or things, please, um, please let me know what they are. I want to be able to answer the questions and make these videos for you. I don't want to make these just generic videos, but I really want to move forward and, and try and help you, as I said in the in my previous videos, I want to be able to give you shortcuts and help you learn what I've learned and the way I've learned it has made so much sense to me and it's actually increased my love for the guitar and it's just an instrument that is just amazing and it's actually branched me out to play and you've seen I, I, I bought a Chapman stick recently and again the notes are all different and uh, you know it's helping me reflect on how I could teach you 
how to play guitar because the guitar um, is something that I, I, I know so well and the Chapman stick is a new instrument, it's a stringed instrument but again being a music teacher I had to learn all the wind instruments, all the um, brass instruments and and uh, you know percussion and things like that so those connections really help me and um, as we move forward uh, I want to give you some tips on that piece. So this is sort of a, the second of the two reflection videos I have. Um, jot some things down, focus on the why, find out why you want to do it and set that up. Set your workspace up, where you want to practice, when you want to practice, what do you want to practice first and you may not know but that's the beauty of setting your own goals. You can always change your mind if things are not working or if you need to give yourself more time that is okay but just keep motivated and keep playing the guitar gregtavone.com please uh, subscribe to my youtube channel and uh, looking forward to sharing some more insights with you as we move forward thank you